Hello and uh, welcome to a new vlog I'm going to be doing every week. Uh, not really sure how it's going to work, I just know that I'm going to try and do one every Sunday and um, it'll either be about you know my life or if particularly big news events have come up then maybe they'll be included as well but I really want to keep it more about my life and then more my writing can focus more on news events and university work and other uh, bigger events in my life that you know I still need writing about. Also during my time at the BBC when I'm there for a month I'm not really going to have much time for writing so I think it'll be good to have just a weekly roundup at the end every week um, talk about what I've done there and how it's been going. This all came about because I did a video CV on Monday and I thought that's a real good platform for uh, you know, expressing myself to employers because you can actually see what I'm like as well rather than just reading my CV. I think you know it gives them a good opportunity to see my personality so I thought I'd just start doing this weekly as well to just become a bit more confident about seeing myself on the camera and you know just more confident delivery and stuff like that so hopefully over the next couple of weeks you know, there'll be a bit of a change and I'll become more confident and be able to put myself across in a much better way. Um, so this week I started my two weeks work, uh, two days a week work experience with Inspired Times magazine. That's a little, little uh, well it's, it's a national publication but centred in Bristol and it's, it's quarterly, it's you know, it focuses on the better side of life and how to get the most out of your life, which is quite nice. Quite like the Spark, which I worked at uh, sometime last year. And, you know, hopefully I can draw on the Spark to help my time at Inspired Times magazine be that little bit better. So I'm there two days a week, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, really nice woman called Sharon runs it. But I do feel that she relies on work experience a little bit too much. Uh, Every day there seems to be two work experience people in the office with her and without uh, both of us I feel that you know she would really struggle to to keep the magazine afloat. Um, she's always advertising on Gumtree and through the university for more work experience people so it's clearly high on the agenda but um, you know it's good, good for me because it gets my name out there. I've been doing some writing, I've been doing some admin stuff. Uh, you know, and more business end of stuff, like um, I've been dealing with money a little bit, which I haven't really done before, so that's been a nice twist on it. And yeah, hopefully over the, the coming weeks that'll, that'll really help to um, to push things forward for me and show me a bit of a different side to the magazine industry. Uh, this week I also got my confirmation through that I will be running the Bristol 10k, so I've just set up a just giving page and I'll share that with you over the next coming days and hopefully you know I can raise quite a lot of money for Bristol Children's Hospital which is a really good cause and has helped you know a lot of children who have severe problems. Um, that's all for this week really just wanted to kind of say that this should be a weekly occurrence and hopefully yeah hopefully over the next coming weeks I'll become a lot more confident and with the video CV as well, those videos will go up as soon as I get them. I'll put them up there so you can all have a, a good laugh at me. See you again soon.